Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. We got Manti back in the house. What's hey, up, Manny? Hey, how's it going, man? Thank you for having me here. Always, man. Today we're gonna play some uh, uh, hand, sort of hand buff Sapper Scoyatel. This is a uh, Raikou list. Um, he's changed it a couple of times. This was the one that I liked the best. But uh, what see. what do you think of the list, Manny? It looks it's it's it looks like a Mulligan nightmare too. Well, it, it does, but like there is one thing that is really really fun for me: the fact that you're gonna be able to bamboozle somebody with a sapper and some dragoon buffs. I would love to see that. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully pull it off here and uh, send someone uh, send someone packing. <laughs> we also got that... we, we got Siri in here too, which is pretty cool. But the the renewed target is is either Isengrim or uh, Zoltan, one or the other. I, I can also see a lot of explosions going on, which is always really really nice. Yeah. And uh, and always like you say, the the Mulligan is kind of like it's hard. However, we have Francesca for it, so it's always nice to have Francesca. Yeah, I, I like these guys. I, I I pretend this guy's like the Irish car bomber. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> but uh, but all right, yeah. Let's uh, let's put it on the ladder and see how it does. We also got our friend in here, uh, Summoning Circle. If you didn't watch the video with me and Manny playing, um, I'm uploading it. That's good recording this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely check that video out on Good City, man. We got the uh, we got. We got bamboozled hard by uh, by the summoning summoning circle. summoning circle. It was we we were we would have won that game too if we wouldn't have did that. Well, yeah, it's just uh, oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but it was it was pretty hype. It was pretty hype. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, ho hopefully we end up on the then the lion show because of it. Right. Huh. So. Look at that, the monsters. Imagine it. Here we go. All right, so we got two clear weathers. That's good. That's good. We Wait. got we got two uh, dragoons. We got the buffs, so we could drop the pyrotechnician. Isengrim renew. That's good. Okay. Are you gonna keep both uh, hawker supports? Um. I think we should keep one. Let's All right. Drop one. Even's good. This is pretty pretty decent. Yeah. We'll give it a try. <coughs> and of course, we we go first. What's this? The this zero. Like it's tradition. It's like oh, it's they... actually from uh. Guento. Guento, person, huh? Yeah. Ah, they updated it. Wow. Okay. They're making it a little bit fancier. So uh turn one we'll get our dragoon out. Onward, Bryhead! Come on, buff the nine! Buff the nine! Oh We got We can actually in. we can actually do use a door pierce just so we can actually start killing those eggs. Right? Yeah. We should stack too, because he's gonna play weather, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if they still run like. Uh, no, this only hits one one. row though. That's the only thing. It's only gonna hit a three. I don't huh? Know. I don't know if because it, it goes three, three, three. It goes. It hits one from each row. It won't kill. It'll only kill one of these, and it might just hit the harpy. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. I see. Let's uh. Let's buff Let the, the sapper. Let the bamboozle begin. Yeah. So there's this carryover. Okay, so we need a couple more. Let me see this. How's this going to be? He's refusing to do his weather. Yeah, and he, he apparently doesn't have woodland spirit. We can actually, we could play Renew next turn with, or with, you know what I mean? We can use Renew now. But the problem is that if you pick the Silver uh, Trap, 
uh, I think the next one there might be a harpy, right? So the harpy might block that. Um, but hey, we can try it. Why not? The question is, which which one are you gonna play? We'll play this one. All right. Try for the the other bamboozle. Bum. That wasn't too bad. The only problem is, oh my god, so much carry over. Ah! Yeah, it's pretty bad. I guess, I guess we can start uh, getting some agitators going on here. Play it back here. A wee hint. Need you of course, it didn't hit the carry. Well, the carryover guy's not gonna <laughs> die anyways. Yeah. He passed. He passed. We got Yaven, which is cool. Look at his sapper. Yeah, that, that sapper be lifting, dude. Now that's when those eights are gonna come into action because he has to play whether this round if we're gonna pull him. We went one card down, 16, uh, 12 behind. Okay, that's one. Get rid of we this. gotta throw the little door, yeah. That's alright. They do run Scorch, though, that's the only thing. <laughs> I feel Summoning circle or Brienne? <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll take uh, it because he might play a he might play an Ekimar out of hand. We might be able to keep the carryover, up keep up with him, you know. Well, through through. Necker carryover. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. No, the question is how much are we gonna play into this round? Because if we're gonna play like a little bit long into this round, which points really don't matter, we're just gonna try to carry over one big unit for the next one. I'm assuming. What yeah. if we play the dragoon just so we can start getting our our value going on here? Yeah, we could do that. See what happens. This is a pretty good dwarf. Uh... Turn. When, you, when you can actually hit all three rows, it's really nice. Uh, there it is. Now we can summoning circle. And eat the well, door. if we summon circle, we will eat the dragoon, right? No, you can eat the Dorigari, can't you? What? Not his, though. Ours? No, no, he, he's gonna give you straight up a Kimara, not a Dorigari. Oh. Yeah, so... It's still... We're still okay. We're still okay. We can do... Um, the bomb. We can do the bo some bombing, yes. Damn, so much carryover, man. Imagine if the carryover was like before. Poof. Yeah, it would be stupid. Mm -hmm. Door gear would be broken. <laughs> so we could clear that, which is cool. He must not have Woodland Spirit. And he hasn't played any gold cards, which is making me really nervous. Look at the <laughs> look at the sapper! Holy shit! Death to old one. Let's move this guy down. Okay, so right now, that's uh, he might have a bad hand. A lot of damage there. Okay. With Francesca. What are we doing with Francesca? Uh What would be good to get? We can get um We can get Siri. We can get Siri, that's true. Very, very true. What do we toss? Uh, we, we can do that. We I guess we toss the summoning circle, right? Yeah. We can get Siri. Yeah. 
She got buffed, of course. <laughs> nice, I'm almost seven by the. She's getting buffed. All right, so after this, we're pretty much out of the round. Then. Well, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so you stay here with me. What if we play the seven? We buff the fifteen, right? Mm -hmm. Then we play Siri, and then we call it a day because then we can renew uh, our what's it called our trap, and then we can renew we can place a trap, and then they will flip in order. Right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if it works. <laughs> Double harpies there. Holy majolies. He's bringing over an Ekimaru. But he really didn't eat that much. So now we're playing Siri, right? Yeah, I will play Siri. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't have more of it. Oh my god. <laughs> so he's carrying over a six. He's used all his harpies. Well, he's carrying over the nine, I believe. Because of the necker as well. We had two okay. neckers in hand. So now we pass. Yeah, we, we pass now. Or but do we I'm play one or do we play one more card? But if, what if he gets woodland? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If he gets woodland. Look that that I gonna need a lot of work with. Yeah, yeah. Siri's nice, man. When you can, uh, <laughs> when you can keep her like that, it's great. Seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. Oh my god! I I was just ten behind, you know. Do we keep the marigolds? Uh, I'm sure we can keep the marigold. We can throw away the Siri. That's good. We got three yeah. targets here. Yes. Oh, he played it early. So we just play it now. Yes, we play the agitator first, then we're gonna play the uh, row moving guy. So we can have like a sweet merry goals. Elven That was good. That was very good. <laughs> okay, so now um I don't think he has weather. So we play the nine and we pull the six into the melee. Or we pull the me the necker into the back. No, nah, this is the biggest row. These are just Okay, you're right. And if he consumes anything, the necker is gonna grow anyway, right? So we pull the six into the back. Right. Into the front, I mean. This is Elven Land Dwan, upon which your kind dies. He's only getting a nine out of it, and we can marigolds it. So we use this. Yes, and then we put it on the what's it called on the back, right? Been safe. Put the trap, and then we put the other trapper. So we play it here. We could play it here. It, it won't hurt nothing. So we got double traps coming. Oh, I wonder what's gonna be like horn. Alright. Alright, now we play the other trap. Yeah, the question is are we gonna have enough here? I'm I'm not gonna do the math. Okay, so then that's nineteen and then the other trapper is nine minus nine oh no. Okay, the Marigold Hearthstone is definitely not going to be 50, but let's go! <laughs> I believe! I'm so tired. Yeah, it's not enough. The it, We would have been okay if we would honestly, if he wouldn't have stole that one card. Yeah, I honestly didn't believe on the, what's I'm it called, so on the Succubus. We got Succubus Bamboozled. <laughs> Look, <Yeah>. even... <laughs> But, hey, that's what happens when you're trying to play against, like, you know, a meta deck. Some situations happen when you're trying to play, like, you know, a fun deck straight up against a, a deck that is just built up for, you know, ladder. Yeah, that's true. 
Try one more. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, somebody has to, has to be the pioneer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. We do what must be done. It's close. It's close. It's just... All right, let's see. Okay. All right, so we have uh, we have to throw away the Macaham, Macaham, right? The pyromancer. Yeah, the pyrotechnician. There's pyrotechnician. A... Okay. Okay. Roach. With the with the roach, and we keep this, right? Yeah, it looks good. Hey, of course we're going first again. <laughs> So we, like it's tradition, dude. We start the buffs going. Oh man, if it would have buffed Brienne, I would have took that thing out in a second. <laughs> do we play the the other dragoon, or do we try and buff? Uh. He's gonna play uh an enforcer next, so we could probably kill it in one turn. Maybe maybe the other dragoon. The other dragoon. Yeah. Double lock. Ouch. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We we are okay still. Now we use the support. So. I think so. Yeah. We don't have um, marigold, so. Zoltan's probably not going to be the renew target. Boy, I wish yeah, we would That would have been slick if we could have uh, more in that. That would have been a kick in the balls for him. Yeah, definitely. Or do we go we for the bamboozle? Off. We can go for the Morin. I, you know, I actually like this deck. I think that we need to change Morin for, uh, or actually... Uh, what do you want to buff? Brienne, I think. Okay, I actually think that if we use the other silver card, I think it will be a little bit better. Torville. Yeah, because that, that, that which actually has been boost of factor. Right. Play the agitator. Pew, pew, pew. When they line you up like, like that, it's so nice. Those there are, it is. Those are my special effects. He killed the spy, so he has to have a... Uh... A Nausicaa, or a Vicvara medic. But we'll just kill it outright. I think, we, wait, we can kill the eight. Because... Please wait, your excellency. I'm okay, let's see. Behind. It no would've been the same. Closed. Okay, what if, what about if we use uh, someone in circle and we don't spy that? We could do that. Best value. He's gonna play another one, and then he's gonna hit that one, and then we'll play our Isengrim. I think we we'll play an Isengrim and then you know put it like on between, and then just pretend with by the power of belief. Please work! Please! Holy okay. cow. Oh, well, that that's actually kind of bad for him, but... It's actually kind of bad for us. Do we pass? <sighs> this is the moment for... We do it for the viewers, man. <laughs> we do it for the viewers. It's nine. That's... He has to play a seven... He has, to, he has to play a 7 strength card. Or, uh, why or, not? Or he plays like something massive. Or do we keep going? 
I, I I think we just call it a day, man. Let's let's see. I think your MMR is gonna is gonna cry, but the viewers are going to laugh. I'll tell you that. Come on, please work. I have no time. Oh. My prescription. He's playing a lot of stuff though. That's definitely yeah, definitely does it. <laughs> it's he's like what was that? You know what? I really think we need to we need to do uh Brian. No no Brian, what's her name? Toroville. Uh, Toroville. Because yeah, that that would have been my bullet factor right there. Alright. We throw away the power technician. More. No one can hide from me. We use Francesca, right? Yeah, and, and mulligan away one of these, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, that's... What do we want to bring into our hand? Javen, right? Because, let me see, actually, let me see, let me see the strength. The strength of Bali is, uh, 18. it will buff it, right? Okay, yeah, we, we do, Javen. Oh, he's gonna keep going, really? Oh, that's, that's actually, let me see, if he does, yeah, even. If we Javen right now, it's actually not bad. Uh, we can we can Javen, but it has to be in a different row. Yeah, let's play it here. I fail, man. Harriet Ten Verde. Uh, Marigold Hellstrom, because if he's going to push. Oh shoot. Yeah, if, because if he's going to push, we we need that. Yeah, I goofed. It happens, man. <laughs> it happens. The pressure. We're gonna get two O. I get it. <sighs> we got a dragoon. Yeah, it has to be a dragoon. Onward, fry head! We met. I don't recall. Oh, well, we could buff it though, but it, oh, she, it doesn't. He has men, though. Well, he, he probably has a Nausicaa. Yeah, actually, I think he, yeah, he could be a Nausicaa. So, what strength are the Nausicaas? They're. Okay, so we can do renew. Yeah, I goofed. I should have played. Or I should have kept the marigolds. Okay, so if he's gonna do that, he can do that in like fifteen. What about playing Morin? Hmm. Yeah, play Morin. Let's see. Maybe he he tries to do a big bar or something like that. The Empire will be he used Menno on it. They'll not leave here alive. We're actually not in such a bad position now. Okay, let me see. Okay, we do our dwarf. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I think we do uh, renew first because the dwarf can. Yeah. This way it brings the other. Sniper. Man, this guy went all in. Holy cow. Man, I wish we had marigolds. We would have owned this guy. <laughs> oh, so we know the dwarf now. Never had your kneecaps broken. A 
we hunt. The nature's all this. I think we still got him. I I think we do. It's gonna be a top deck war. Blue mountains! 45. Yeah, just damage. Either damage or buff. Yeah. But but come on. What what do we have? Uh we I think we have We got a brigade. We got the agitator wouldn't be too bad. Brigade's the best we could do in eight. Oh, we would have kicked the shit out of him if we would have. He probably would have passed earlier, though. Hawker support. No! I don't think we risk it. No Marigold! No Marigold! No Marigold! I think we just keep it. Okay. Oh, man. And it's premium. It's premium. It's, it has, like, you know, potential value there. It's gonna be an infiltrator. Yes! Yes! Oh! He had no spies left. Calculated, dude. Oh shit! That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, if we would have kept the marigolds, we probably would have been in better shape. But he might have passed a lot earlier. Yeah. But we could have. If he would have kept playing, we could have. Uh, just kept uh, baiting them in until we had a one card advantage and maybe took it. So, but yeah, that's know, that was pretty that's, fun. That's the video for today, guys. Uh, I'll turn it over to Manny. Like always, let him know where you can find Manny and Gwent City and Idealist. Oh well, you know, it's just same thing. You just check it out. When everything went zero related, just uh, a lot of the guys are starting to make videos and just trying to make in a little bit more into the competitive side of things. Well, you know, me and Devil Driver were goofing off. We're <laughs> right. just doing our thing. We're the and, uh, we're the comic relief here in in Gwent City. True, true. No, but uh, you know, just GwentCity.com, and uh, just thank you so much for having me. It's always a blast. I have a lot of fun. Yeah, I I like the the new uh, the simple truth videos. Those the, I, I hope you guys keep those going. I like that a lot. It's short and it just gives you a good idea on why a card is good or why a card is bad. I like that a lot. So. Shout out to Simple. That's a, that's a really good series. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's the video. Like always, guys, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you next time.